Hi, my name is Stacey and I'm just coming to the end of my second year. I'm a single honours French student. One of the reasons I chose to study a language degree is that you really get um, many degrees in one, I find, because you do a whole range of different subjects. Obviously, you've got the language side of it, um, where you kind of improve your oral skills, your writing skills, reading skills, um, a lot of the things that you do at A level, you carry them up on past. Um, and then also on the other side, you've got a whole range of mod other modules, um, which cover things like literature, um, politics, history, um, even linguistics, which is um, on the more science side. So you, you do get a whole range of skills. Um, so it is really good, and all these skills are transferable for when you graduate. One of the biggest factors in my decision to come to Liverpool was the actual department. Um, the, d the department is really great and it's the best department I've found um, after like, visiting all the universities that I went to. Um, it's quite a small department in, co in comparison and they are qu there is quite a small number of students as well, in c obviously in comparison, um, which means that not only you'll know everyone, but you'll also know all the lecturers, um, your personal tutor, you'll get to know them very well, as well as all the other staff in the school, like the people in the office. Um, so it's a really nice feel in the department. And even though the department is small, this doesn't mean kind of you, you miss out in any way because you have a massive module choice. You can, the things that you can pick, um, for example, I was doing all sorts, um, I was doing a uh, um, module in immigration and then the next day had literature and then after that linguistics there is a great deal of things to choose from. I'm going on a year abroad next year and I've chosen to spend the year as an Erasmus student and I'll be studying at a university in Paris. Uh, at the University of Liverpool there is a wide range of choice of what to do on a year abroad. Um, there's obviously the traditional route of being an assistant um, with the British Council in a school um, and then also there's Erasmus places which are university places um, within the European Union um, and then also there's the Comenius route which is also school placements but um, it's more directed those who definitely want to go into teaching. Um, lastly you've got work placements which a lot of universities I, I went to told me that there's no way that you could spend a year abroad on a work placement unless you had contacts in the country that you wanted to go to. Um, but here they really do encourage you to do work placements. Um, there's something called the year abroad. That's not called the year abroad. It's called. There's something called the work placement uh, email list, which emails your jobs um, in all different countries where you use your skills, as well as. Um, that email you graduate opportunities um, within the Northwest.